This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hey guys, welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony. Today I've got a really exciting review show of Timeless. Timeless is this bad boy right here. And this is by Zhao Miranda. It is £372.99. Uh, a small pittance to pay for an amazing miracle this day and age. Um, it comes in an amazing box, just like this. And uh, you might be seeing some of the trailer, maybe just popping up at the side here, or you may not, depending on how I wish to edit this. So, I am here to tell you or advise you as to whether this is a product worth going for or not. Now, this is a really hard thing to do because with a product that has a price range of this, uh, you know, £372.99, it's a lot of money. So it's not in everyone's ballpark. You know, it. you've got to be a professional if you're going to be doing this or at least going to make your money back somehow by getting this prop. So um, I'm going to just come out with it straight away and say that if you are a professional, um, not doing walk around, but more of a stage in a parlor situation or even a cruise ship or anything like this, then this box and trick will work very well for you. It is, uh, don't let the price put you off. I would say go out and check it out uh, because it really does work, or it seems to be working for me as well as, uh, as well as advertised, if not better, and it is really cool. That doesn't mean that there's not a few things you need to pay attention with when performing it to make sure it doesn't always go wrong. But uh, so far, I've had a lot and lot of success with this product. I'm really enjoying it. So what do you get, first of all? Well, inside here, I'm not going to go through everything, but you get another black box. It's better than the Apple I store with this, but this time we're going for a black box. It's magnetized. Got to love that. And inside here, we have another red box. Beautiful red box. I've taken it out, by the way. <laughs> you get nothing. You just get an empty box. <laughs> this is what comes inside it. So inside here is one box. And then inside this box, you also get lots of different ways of customizing uh, the designs, which is really, really cool, as well as for uh, fixing and changing things should you require to at any point. You also get a special cable, you get your ribbon as well, and you do get, of course, the video tutorial, which lasts approximately 45, 50 minutes, and it really does go through every aspect of the box very, very thoroughly. And I'd say he gets to the point quickly as well and teaches it you quickly. So, um, but almost it's self-explanatory. We always recommend that you watch a product before you uh, start messing around with it. Watch the video, learn it, just in case you make a mistake and mess up the electronics that have cost you a lot of money. So make sure you watch the video first. Um, so all in all, this is the box. Now, um, I am just going to show you roughly what you get here. So you get this, and inside this box, you get another box. So this is the, the next box. And inside there, you will have the watch. And inside the back of the watch, of course, is their ring, uh, or their piece of paper with a note written to them, uh, with a prediction on, or it could have a coin, a signed coin. The, you know, the outcome, it really is limitless with this. There is a lot of space to load whatever you want in the back of it. Albeit the entrance, you know, you're not going to be getting a two pound coin in easily uh, in England or a half dollar. It's going to be more like a ring, a smaller object, a 20 pence piece. Um, I found that English 10 pence pieces don't always work the best. Um, they are magnetic and yeah, they're not the best for this product, but anything non-magnetic, a 2p or a a 20p seemed to work very well for me and the rings just seem to work very well indeed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this trick right now to Scott uh, for the first time and let's see what he thinks of this product. That'll be fine. Cool. We couldn't quite get the, the tallness of Scott and the table in view, but this box is right here on the table. So that's all good. Um, so Scott, here we have a coin. Do you want to check it? Make sure it's real. 
Uh, check, check the date on it as well, because I've not got a Sharpie right now, so we're not going to sign it. But can you see the date on it? Okay. You got Can't it? Be, cool. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, Scott, all we're going to do is take the coin in the hand, watch, make it vanish like that. Okay. No, it really has gone completely. Oh, I bet it has. And uh, inside, have you seen this box before? I've never seen it. You've this never box seen this box before. before? Well, inside here, this is like a very special. Can you hear what's inside it? I can hear something strange. Can you hear that? No? Anything, Watch. I mean, literally, inside this box, we put something very, very cool. And inside this box is another box. Now, normally, you'd have, <laughs> you'd have kind of like a, a ribbon around it, and you'd yeah. undo the ribbon yourself. Okay. But we've just not gone into that today. But inside here, you can see another box, another red box. We're going to take that out like this. And inside this box here, which <laughs> looks pretty cool. I'd like this for Christmas. Inside here is a watch. Okay. Now, please make sure there's nothing else in my hands. There's nothing not hidden in my hands anywhere. Um, in fact, can you just lift the watch out of there? Just, yeah, use the arm and just lift it out. That's great. Cool. That's cool. I'll just hand it like that. Great. Okay. So, um, watch. Literally, watch. <laughs> watch. Hold out your hand. Right, put that on your hand like this. I'm just going to unscrew the top like this and lift it off very carefully. <laughs> Have you done that? <laughs> that and to show a close up of the camera here, so that that's the watch there, and that's the coin. That's the same coin. The exact same coin. Yes. It's good, isn't it, mate? It is good. I will. Uh, I will tell you how it's done yeah, in a year's time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Um, that's Scott's reaction. It's, it's pretty good, though. This now is Scott's reactions to how it works. Now, Scott is uh, learning magic, so it's okay for him to be doing this. <laughs> he also prints for the Print by Magic the playing cards that you often order as well. So this is just his reaction to the ingenious side of it. Anyway, um, I'm going to reset it now, and I'm resetting it and talking quite loud. There we go, reset. Oh. Yeah. Don't show anything. So... I'm just going to ask you, Scott, while you're here, is it worth £372.99? That's a lot of money. Yeah. No. No? I don't think so. Even if you're a professional magician? Going out doing gigs? I, d I still don't think so. I think that's a lot of money to pay for a magic trick. Yeah, okay. Because there are obviously there are a lot, there's lots of tricks that... That seem impossible, so it's just yep. another impossible trick. Yeah, it's great to have a £72. non magician's view on it, I guess. So, yeah, cool. It's, a, it's too much money for me. Nah, for me, <laughs> it, it, it is too much money, but I would probably go out and get it just to do my gigs. So, we have two different results there of, of what you think. You can make up your mind if you want to go <laughs> for one or not. So, yeah, that is uh, th that is Timeless by Jao Miranda. It is feels like it's been made really, really well in terms of this is going to last a long time, this box. It's not a really cheap box that's just going to get battered very quickly. So it really is thick cardboard, thick uh, outings on it. So that is going to last you again and again and again because it is being kept inside this cardboard box, which really, really helps. This is also really strong. Strong cardboard, uh, easy to uh, manipulate, and I love the way that the top just kind of flips and magnetizes together, which is really nice just on top. So it's easy to open in performance. And um, everything really, as far as I'm concerned, cannot be, of course be examined, but it can be looked at very, very closely. Uh, he goes through all the subtleties, but this box has been on show from the very beginning. They've even got their hand on top of it, right with the secret, should I say, almost there right in front of them. But because their arm is there and the hand is on top of it, they do not see it. And uh, that's kind of like the ingenious part of it, really. Of course, afterwards, they cannot examine these boxes thoroughly, but who would want to? It's something to an impossible location. So uh, for me, again, they wouldn't examine this. You've taken it out because at the end of the day, there's a watch inside that has a back that's screwed on it which we'll get onto more later. But then uh, they can take that out. The boxes are put aside. They don't care about the boxes anymore. A box is a box. Uh, whatever people say, a box is a box. Then, especially if you're performing this, should I say, on stage, where literally, you know, they might grab something, might do it, the worst case scenario, but in general, they do what they're told. The spectators will follow your instruction. They don't want to be made a fool of on stage. So they will go along with what you're doing if you 
word things and uh, perform things correctly. So then you come down to the actual uh, watch itself, which again cannot be examined at the very, very end. However, it's there right in front of them. They're seeing it right here with the front and the back on, and they see you screwing out the back, and then they can lift it up or you can lift it off. I would rather lift this part off myself, but very cleanly lift off the bottom and then uh, the ring is seen inside the watch or the piece of paper, which is a lovely routine he goes through as well with uh, a prediction that uh, then appears inside the watch, which is beautiful. So, yes, Nothing could be examined at the very end, including the watch. But for me, because the watch has been right in front of them and they've unscrewed it, boom, and there it is. All they care about is the ring and how on earth did that get inside the watch that was inside a box that was inside another box. So this is like a nest of boxes deluxe. I really, really like this. Now, I would also say it's easy to fix if anything goes wrong with the box, uh, except for, of course, the electronics. If anything were to ever go wrong with the electronics, then you might have to do a little bit of work um, returning it and getting in touch with your magic shop. However, um, so far I've performed this quite a lot of times. Uh, I've been testing it out in the shop many times before I did this for the first time, and it does seem to be very, very reliable in both the reset and the performance. Uh, once you've done the trick, reset will take you approximately 20, 30 seconds because the actual uh, resetting the, the watch is self-explanatory. It goes inside each other. That goes inside. You have to just load it into the box back where it came from. Very easily to do. And then you have to put the lid on the box and put the box inside the other box. So it really isn't rocket science. It does work well. You have to be able to do a little bit of uh, basic manipulation of a coin or a ring. You have to be able to make a ring vanish either with a handkerchief or you have to be able to do a false transfer. Uh, and then you have to be able to comfortably handle the box in a way that, you know, it's just here and you're just handling it. But of course, there is something to do at this moment. So you have to justify the moment. And he justifies it by saying, and can you hear that? Can you hear it? And at that point, he is uh, doing what is needed to be done. And I think that just works. It does what it says on the tin. So I'm trying to cover all bases here. The last base I want to cover is the sound. I know some of you might say, oh my God, that's too loud. Ah! Sorry, that's a bad, bad thing. It's not that bad at all. Uh, yes, you can, if you're in a totally silent environment, hear something like a high-pitched sound as though a motor. But all I would say is don't let that put you off in any way. Um, it's not that loud in any normal environment, not as quiet as this, but where you've got any ambient music going on, any ambient sounds going on, or you have music for your performance, or you're talking with somebody on stage, that is going to be enough. Just me talking now to cover that sound completely that the box is making, and it lasts approximately five seconds. So it is not very bad uh, in that respect in any way. Uh, so do not let that put you off. Uh, just you would have to be aware of it during your performance to make sure that you can cover that uh, appropriately. So far, it's been very reliable. Every time I put the coin in, except for a 10 pence coin because of the magnetic properties, um, which then gets jammed a little bit. Apart from that, everything I put in so far works every time and just appears by magic inside the box. And it kind of fools me as well when I lift off the top of the box and then I'm like, could this possibly be? And I take out the watch and everything's there. I unscrew it and it's in the back. Now, of course, they cannot take it back on and unscrew it back on again. You're not going to be asking them to do that and they're not going to be looking at the base or uh, they can look at the actual watch itself, but the base of the watch, they're not going to be looking at. Um, but there is no need. There really is no need. So there we go. That is my uh, review. It is hugely expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's hugely expensive. So for the amateur who's just going out to the pub, I'd probably say not your trick. So for £372.99, it really is for the serious performer. Uh, but I would just say, yeah, 
it works really great it does what it says on the tin and the uh, reactions i think from the crowd in the trailer kind of speaks for itself uh, so i really like this i think yes it's expensive i wish it was a bit cheaper but there's a lot of uh, 3d printing and a lot of electronics and uh, a lot of thought gone into this product so i can certainly understand the price tag whereas i wish i just wish it was just another 70 pound cheap or you know around about the 300 pound mark but it is what it is and it is a fantastic product Okay, let's give it a rating out of 10, and I'm simply going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. I think the only thing that's brought it down just a tiny bit is the price of it, um, but that being said, it's a solid product, it's reliable, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it if you get it. So it is available now in limited editions, or limited, sorry, in the sport edition and in the traditional uh, edition, and that classic, should I say, available on our website, magicworld.co.uk, in limited quantities. So uh, get in quick if you're after one. So that is the end of this week's Magic World Review Show. We're just doing one product at a time. I think I've said this last week, but also to all the people who did win, check your email and your spam folders. Make sure you send an email with your name and address. Only the people who've received an email saying you have won. So this is one in the top 20 people for the £200 giveaway. And send your email to winners at magicworld.co.uk. Also, uh, just wanted to let you know, um, I think we neglected to say this a few weeks back, but... About a month ago, we did a magic show here in the Live Magic Studio, a brand new studio we have built for performing arts in Manchester. And it went super, super well. So I just want to share with you the trailer for the Live Magic Studio. This is what I'll leave at this week's Magic World Review show with. Uh, we had a fantastic show. People loved it. And this uh, studio is now available for hire, whether it be a magic uh, shop or studio wanting to do some performances, um, whether you are a corporate company wanting to do some workshops and uh, learn magic, or whether you're a private party and you just want to have a party at a location, we've got everything. We've got the drinks, we've got the setup, we've got the lights, we've got the great studio and performance area. So make sure uh, you think live magic studio especially if you're a magician or a lecturer coming in from around the world uh, just give us a call check it out though our new website livemagicstudio.co.uk um, still partly under development the website but most of it is there check it out and it is a cool little studio if you need to hire it just get in touch uh, have a great day and i'll leave you with this I think I've just broken it, guys. What? I think I put it on the inside.